Welcome to Athletic Alert's coverage of the MLB 2015 awards ceremony, where we will be doing a pre and post game uh, of the awards and the results of the awards. But in our pregame, we're going to be talking about uh, the NL, AL, Rookie of the Years, the Cy Young Awards, and the MVPs of both leagues. Um, I'm going to start off with my NL Rookie of the Year and Chris Bryant. Chris Bryant is a dominant rookie, obviously. He is hitting 277. That's his batting average. He has 26 home runs. He has 99 ribbies. And his on-base percentage is 368. That is a great stat line for a rookie. Um, he's a very big piece in bringing his team to the playoffs. Jesse, do you agree with my pick? That's who uh, I would vote for. Yeah, I would vote for the same person, Chris Bryant. I don't think there's much controversy over this. I mean, he leads the um, all rookies in homers. RBIs, he's approaching 100. He's got a decent batting average. Obviously, he's got a little strikeout problem, but I mean, he's going to be a star. He's he's already emerging as one of the best third basemen in the MLB. So look for him to just be great for years to come. Now and, and he is on. a Chicago Cubs third baseman. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and again, I think... I would vote for him, and I expect him to win. Okay, yeah, we both have... We're going to do who we vote for and who we expect to win. <laughs> um, that we have yeah. him for both. So, Jesse, who is the AL Rookie of the Year that you would vote for? I personally would vote for Carlos Correa. I, I think the rookies are really locked in. Both Chris Bryant and Carlos Correa really put their spots in for Rookie of the Year. The only really people to compete with Correa are Francisco Lindor, maybe Miguel Sano... Maybe even Billy Burns. But mm. when you look at it um, as a shortstop, he's an amazing uh, defensive shortstop. He's got a 282 batting average. He's got, he leads, uh, I believe he leads all uh, AL rookies with 22 homers. He's got 67 RBIs. And remember, he has he has played under 100 games. So yeah. to have 22 homers, 67 ribbies, um, that's great. Mm. That's, that's yeah. really good. And if they had a rookie of the entire MLB, I, I think that he would be the one to be the entire the that guy, the rookie of the year in the entire MLB, because like you said, he's played less than 100 games. Chris Bryant, he's missed the first five games of the season whatever, for the contract reasons. Yeah, like 10. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> excuse me. But he he has pro- put up a great stat line for playing less than those 100 games. I mean, if he's played for the entire season, he'd have numbers that are even more outstanding than these. I, he, I think he's a potential future star. And I'm, you know, I like to relate people to Mike Trout. I see him as a Mike Trout. All right. Who do you not see as a Mike Trout? <laughs> but, um, let's move on to Cy Young, a little bit, a little bit more controversial um, awards spot. So who do you have for National League Cy Young? I know there's really a top three. Yes. It's, well, kind, of, it's kind of between Arietta, Granke, and, and Kershaw. Yeah. yeah and, sorry about that. <laughs> uh I'm going to have to go with Zach Greinke, the pitcher for the Dodgers. He, his ERA is 168. He has an 18-3 and record. He has 192 strikeouts, and his whip is .85. That is, is incredible for a pitcher. I mean, I remember the I was at the Mets-Dodgers game when the, the streak of his scoreless innings was broken. Uh, I think he went over 40 innings or something like that. He almost broke the record. He's an outstanding and dominant pitcher. Uh, all over the years, you've heard about the Dodgers with uh, Clayton Kershaw. Clayton Kershaw. I think that Zach Greinke is the most dominant pitcher on that team. I think he's the most dominant pitcher in the National League. And I like what he does. And I expect him. Oh, I, I would vote for him for the NL Cy Young Award tonight. All right. I, I actually, it hurts me to not pick Arietta. It hurts me to not pick Kershaw. But I'm going to agree with you. Zach Greinke, I believe, should get the award. That's who I would vote for. He's got the best ERA in the league. And it's been it's the best ERA since 1995, 20 wow. years. Greg Maddox had only 0.05 less ERA than him. He's also got the best whip, the best winning percentage, and here's a good stat. He's been dominant throughout the whole year. He's never went over a ERA of two. Wow. So he's been consistently dominant throughout the whole year. Um, and I, when you look at the other two guys, Arietta and Kershaw, they have been amazing as well. But Kershaw kind of had a shaky first half. Arietta didn't have as, as amazing of a first half either, and they both went off in the second half. So I think Granke being consistently throughout is really what put it over the top for me. That's who my vote would be. But who do I spec, expect to get the National League Cy Young? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to go with Jake Arietta. 
one yeah, of these. I, I agree with I mean, that. Yeah, pick as I, well. I, I would take Zach Granke, but I'm expecting Jake Arrieta. Yeah, get Jake Arrieta has an ERA of 1.77. He has 22 wins. He has 236 strikeouts, and his WHIP is 0.01 higher than Granke's, which is 0.86. He's a dominant Cubs pitcher. You know, everyone was making a big deal about the signing of John Lester. He's shown to be the true pitcher in Chicago. He and Chris Bryant, they had the hitting and the pitching. I like that team overall, and I think that I expect him to win over Granky because the popularity is on his side. He's made a lot of news lately. Yeah, and, and one game to bid and stuff. Yeah, the the, uh, the no hitter and everything. Right. One more thing to add: Dodgers fans are going to kind of be splitting their votes between Granky and Kershaw, while right. the Cubs fans are all in on Arietta. So he's going to get the majority of the votes. Let's move on to AL Cy Young. I'm going with Dallas Keuchel. Mm. He's got the most innings pitched. He goes very deep into games. He's got 232 innings pitched. He has the most wins in the American League with 20. Uh, his record's 20 and 8 overall, and he is 15 and 0 at home. Um, the at he's also kind of taken the Astros to the playoffs. I mean, it's not positive that they're going to make it yet, but they have a good chance at that wild card spot. He's got the second best batting average against a pitcher. Um, with a 217 batting average against him. He's got the second ERA in the American League, under 2.5. He's got over 200 strikeouts, and he's got the best whip in the AL. Yeah, I mean, but I I expect Dallas Keuchel to win. Mm -hmm. I expect him to win, but I would vote for David Price. David Price is now a pitcher for the Toronto Blue Jays. He was traded midseason at the trade deadline. His ERA is 2.45. He's his wins, he has his win-loss record is 18 and 5. He has 225 strikeouts and his whip is a little over one. I think that it's partially because of the trades of Troy, Troy Tulowitzki and everyone else, but he is a major piece in that Toronto organization. Mm -hmm. A lot of people thought, eh, it was just to put fear into the Yankees. It puts fear into the whole entire league. Mm -hmm. And he is definitely the one of the most dominant pitchers in, in the entire league, I think. Yeah. And that he, ever since he left the Tigers, it's been a new David Price. It's been a new person, you know. He was a little slumped in Detroit, but I think he deserves uh, the... Cy Young reward for me if I was giving it to him, but I think Dallas Keuchel will win because of the reasons Jesse stated. But now we're going to move on to the AL and, M and NL MVPs, and I'm going to go, I'm going to vote for Mike Trout as my AL MVP. He's hitting 298, he has 41 home runs, he has 90 RBIs, his on base percentage is one, is, is 0.399. I think that's great for him. Mike Trout's improved every year he's been in the league. Um, I think this is his first time over 40 home runs, if I'm not mistaken. A lot of people are doing that this season. I would vote for him. He's very young. He's on the track to be a Hall of Famer. He's broken a lot of records already. He's made the All-Star game almost every year he's been in the league. Mm -hmm. um, and But I do not expect him to win. I expect Josh Donaldson to win. He has an over 300 batting average. He's 41 home runs as well. Oh, well over 100 uh, RBIs. And his on-base percentage is a little bit lower. Um, I think <laughs> I think that Josh Allenson is a big piece of the organization in Toronto, as well as David Price. But I would really vote for Mike Trout because he's the head, he's the face of the MLB. All right, I see where you're coming from, but I mean, I wouldn't be upset if Mike Trout got it. But there's, like you said, you expect Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson is the most deserving guy for this award. He's got he leads. The league, with oh uh, well, ex and with the exception of Nolan Arenado, he leads the league in RBIs. So he's second in RBIs. He's got over 120 runs scored and 120 ribbies. He's amazing on the defensive side and the offensive side. He's got over 40 homers, over 300 average, mm -hmm. and it makes him one of the best combos of power and contact in the MLB. Mm -hmm. He's also leading the Blue Jays to the playoffs, obviously. And I think he's just emerged as the best third baseman so quickly. Yeah. And I, I, I think it's pretty obvious choice to me. Yeah. I think he's got it over Mike Trout. I, yeah, I, I, I like Mike Trout better, but I cannot deny the fact that Josh Donaldson is him and Troy Tulowitzki. That's basically Toronto's team right there. And Jose well, Bautista. Team. Edwin Encarnacion yeah, and Jose oh, Bautista. They're, yeah, they're just stacked. They're stacked. And they should be a dangerous stacked. threat in the playoffs. But now let's move on to the NL MVP uh, I'm going to go with Bryce Harper. That's who I would vote for, and that's who I expect to win the NL MVP. He's hitting 331. He has 42 home runs. He has 99 ribbies, and his on-base percentage is 462. And all these stats are as of October 3rd because there are a couple more games left. That's that can change. But 
He is the face of the Nationals team right now. He has a little off-the-field problems, but I really don't think that's going to affect his value in getting nominated and elected for this award. He he is the future of the Nationals franchise, and he might leave if these problems continue in the locker room and mm. off the field. And as the, even though he didn't lead his team to the playoffs, I don't think it's going to hurt him. Jesse, do you yeah. agree? I, I expect Bryce Harper to get the award for National League MVP. But is who you But for? I have a different person that I would vote for. I'm voting for Paul Goldschmidt of the Arizona Diamondbacks. I think he's the best 5-2 player in the National League, a great combination of power and contact and speed. He's got over 100 RBIs and 100 runs scored, a 317 batting average with over 30 homers and 20 stolen bases. So I think he's got the best across the board stat line. Um, he's a quiet leader for the Diamondbacks. He's got an amazing attitude. He's very humble. And his presence in the Diamondbacks lineup just brings their whole team up. So I think um, with Bryce Harper not making the playoffs, I think that that was the thing that just pushed it a tiny bit under Paul Goldschmidt for me and, and his problems off the field, obviously. Paul Goldschmidt's the opposite of that. He All he does is help in the locker room, and he's a great player on and off well, the field. Well, it looks like we're going to have to see if that humble attitude is going to affect if he wins it or not. Personally, I don't think so. I mean, like I said, I expect yep. Bryce Harper to win it, but my vote goes to Paul Goldschmidt. All right, so we're going to take you live to the award ceremony right now. Thanks for joining us for the pregame. Stay tuned for the postgame interviews. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy the ceremony.